Okay, this is going to be a tutorial vi video on hot wiring cars and the uh, new inventory and the new weapon system that we're going to be using here at OLRP. So first thing is we, get, we have a car here so before we get into that I might as well just go over the new inventory system. F2 still brings it up. As you can see, um, it does look a little different. You get 25 slots to hold items. After that, any item that someone gives you or uh, you go to buy, um, it will either won't give it to you or you'll lose that item. So make sure you have your have space free to carry the items. Now this will increase in the amount of slots you can carry when the weight system comes in, which is coming uh, supposed to be coming soon. So. I have my uh, pistol up here. This top row is your quick bar. Um, so you don't even have to open your inventory to use these items up here. You just press the key that corresponds to them and your guy will select them. Um, right now there's an issue with the inventory. If you were to take this and swap it out, you wouldn't be able to use this quick item. It doesn't recognize a proper swap so you have to uh, place it into the slots and hopefully make sure you have uh, have an empty slot or something. Um, let me just clean up my inventory here, it's bugging me. Okay, so you see pistol ammo here, so that's gotta be telling you that there's other ammo in the game, yep, there, and there is. There's ammo for pistols, there's ammo for rifles, there's ammo for shotguns, and there's ammo, I believe, for SMGs. Um, each gun will have to have the proper ammo to be able to reload it. So I already got uh, ammo in my gun up there, but to reload your your weapon, just click the item, bring it over, and say used. It'll tell you pistol ammo was used, and it should have put more ammo in there. I don't have the gun in hand, so you won't see it. But um, I'll close out the inventory, bring out my pistol, I got 63 rounds. So I'll uh, click this here, use, there, and now I'm up to 93 rounds. The ammo didn't disappear because this is spawned, admin spawned ammo, which gives it uh, unlimited amount of ammo. So, um, if I see that in anyone's inventory, I know there's an admin that's cheating, and I'll dig into the logs further to find out who it is. And uh, chances are, if it's their first offense, they'll get talked to. If it's their second, they won't be an admin anymore. So, that reloads the weapon. Oops. Pull it back out. Oh, that was a little too close, and I dropped my weapon. I don't know if I can pick it back up or not. This is the first time I've died. So, there is a clip on the ground. I just don't know uh, how to pick that up. So we'll leave that there for a second, and it just might not be anything. It could be just where I died at. So let me check my gun. Still have ammo in it. So you can uh, use the quick bar, or you can come into your inventory and uh, click the gun and say use, and you can see it put it in his hand. So that way will work too. Um, you, can, you don't need to put an item in there to drop anymore. Just drag over the 10 and you'll drop the whole stack. Um, I don't know if you put four in, if that will just, no, that dress drops everything. But they're also in the minuses, so I'm not sure how that uh, overly works with these in the minus. So I'll just drop them on the ground. And we'll get rid of them. Man, that car alarm somewhere is going off forever. Okay, because they're minus ten, those things deleted. So we'll come over here to the uh, this car here. We'll see if it's locked. It is. 
So the next thing we're going to do is, uh, okay, I got some lock picks up there already, so I just have to hit button four, and he'll go to work at uh, unlocking the vehicle. And uh, it's simple as that. Now, once he gets it unlocked, there's a 50% chance it will set off the alarm. Um, there's also a 50% chance that the car is going to be locked when you come up to it. So this one doesn't have an alarm in it. That other alarm finally went off, or finished going off. So then you can just drive away and enjoy your spoils. When you see another car out on the street. So um, I'm going to show you one more thing before I end this video off because I'm sure some of you is have might have noticed it but it's played in the city. Um, so let me put the weapon away. So at the top, um, bring out, no, I'm going to have to uh, close this here and bring up my F2. Yeah, F2 will work. So up here in the top uh, right now is your job title. I'm going to bump this down just a little bit so when uh, certain things tell you press uh, E to get in a car or press G to take your car out of the garage and stuff, this isn't overriding it. Now this is transparent and you can see most of the writing behind it, but to me it just bugs me a little bit, so I'll push that down a bit. Over here on the other side, so I'll close out my menu, if you hit F10, it will pop out all your money. This will stay out for about six seconds and then it will automatically go back in. So the top one is your cash, your bank, uh, dirty money, and I'm not sure why they use that uh, that icon, because to me it looks like blood money, and the bottom one is uh, the social fund. Um, pretty much every job, uh, second rank, and our uh, boss, and um, I guess the underboss, the uh, vice president, the deputy, whoever the second in command is in a job can see the society money. And uh, that's about it for uh, this tutorial and I'll be back sometime soon and I'll try to get a whole bunch done for the city so everybody uh, understands how to do jobs and uh, how to use certain things within the city.